Welcome back. Really help, happy to welcome back to the program again for an update. The uh, president of Quincy College, Dr. Richard De Cristofaro, has stopped on by because there's always a lot to talk about at the college. Rick, good to see you again. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah. Um, as always, we'd love to continue the, the relationship uh, between QATV and Quincy College uh, into the future. And there's a lot to talk about, as I mentioned. Yeah, I have yeah, a really fistful is. of information. But exactly. before we get to any of that, mm -hmm. the most important thing really is you've got students back on campus. Yeah, yeah, we do, and it's great to see them. It really makes uh, everything so much more worthwhile when, when we see the students and talk with the students and really know how they feel. Uh, about their courses and about their pathway, so it, it makes a significant difference. Yeah, what's the, kind of the COVID policy, if you will, now on campus? Well, we're wearing masks. Okay. That, that's really what we're doing. We haven't asked for vaccinations uh, in, in that regard, but we we do have uh, a mask uh, policy, so everyone is in in wearing their masks. Okay. Yeah. Is anything online anymore, or is it strictly all in person now? Oh no, oh. we have online because you know it's funny because. Um, it's hard to say blanket everything, okay, everyone's going to do this, or right. everyone's going to do that. When you're a business, you know, and when you're looking for enrollment and you're looking for revenue, you yep. know, it's very hard to say, very difficult, I think, for me to say, uh, no, you, you cannot be here unless you are this. Right. And you lose 100 students or 200 students, and then the revenue is what it is, and you say, wait a minute, I did what? <laughs> <laughs> Mistake number one, we've exactly. changed that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. there are still online offerings. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, still, and in, in, uh, both in Quincy and in Plymouth. Okay. So, uh, and and, it's, and there, are, there are a lot of students that just have relied on it um, mm -hmm. uh, a lot. And, and, our, and our, I think our faculty really enjoyed it after a while. You know, they enjoyed it. Um, but I think that they, at this point, w really love seeing the, these students. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, there is no, we've, we've learned there's no substitute for in-person nope. anything. The way we're talking today, there's no substitute for that. That, that is I'm, correct. I'm sure for teaching, it's, it's the same as well. Yeah. Uh, but it has its place, right? There is the convenience factor, especially for working students. Yeah, it, it, it really does. And, and, you know, that whole idea of, you know, not having a time element involved in it, you know, that, that, that you know, that when the uh, professor, um, shares uh, that lesson, you know, uh, that they can do that. They can have that lesson when they come home from work. Mm -hmm. You know, they can do it there and, and then, you know, uh, do whatever work they need to do according to that. So that whole kind of, it's not a 9 o'clock class. You need to be there right, right at 9 o'clock. You yep. can do it you know, at your convenience, that that is that's pretty significant. You're right. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Any uh, like ratio as to online versus in person, or most did most students come back? Right now, most most of our students um, have come back. Okay. Uh, but I still think that there would be probably about 30, 35 percent of our students are are uh, online. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All so right. so. You know, we're, we'll see where we go. I yeah. mean, I just think we need to, to be as flexible and as adapt um, as we possibly can. Yeah. Again, just to, to make sure students, you know, come to the college. Mm -hmm. I think that's what you do. Yeah, how is enrollment right now? The enrollment is, is good. Uh, we we uh, lost enrollment. We, we, uh, in the year before this, we gained some enrollment, and this year we, lose, we lost some yeah. enrollment. So um, we're constantly... Uh, trying very, very hard to do different things, you know, like in Plymouth and in Quincy, offering new programs, mm -hmm. you know, offering new curriculum, uh, making sure they're industry-based, making sure that these are the, the students can take these courses uh, and their return on investment is either immediate or, or short-term. Right. So that's really what you have to do, and you have to be, th and that's why the difference between a community college and Quincy College is that we can change on the dime. We can change as much as we possibly can. We don't have to go through uh, an advisory board of 15 college presidents yes. to say, is it okay? Yeah. You know, so, I mean, that, that's an advantage. That doesn't yeah. mean the community colleges don't do a great job. It simply means that we have that advantage in that way. Yep, you're kind of uh, the, the smaller, nimbler uh, yes. player on the field, you know, exactly. the run between legs. <laughs> exactly. Uh, since you brought it up, uh, one of the key programs I know to that end is the uh, biotechnology yeah. Well, yeah, what a fantastic program, yeah. you know, and we had Ken Turner come from Mass Life. He's the president of Mass Life Sciences, and he visited, and he loves our program. But more importantly, I mean, we have this great program, which the return on investment for our students is spectacular. I mean, it's a two-year program, and after one year, Cambridge is calling. All of the different um, 
the pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. uh, they're calling the manufacturers, they're calling uh, because our students get hired before their second year even begins. So they're still going to school and working in the field at the same time. Yeah, That's yeah. Incredible. so yeah. It's, it is wonderful. But then, and then some of the students, I mean, they're not all, um, you know, from um, communities like uh, Quincy or, or Hanover or whatever they're from, um, all over the South Shore mm. and the North Shore uh, as well, and in Boston. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Uh, there's some immigrants uh, that come in, uh, take take some courses, and, and they're all set. Then they get into biotech, uh, and it's really like the American story. I yeah. mean, you know, they come here looking to be upward mobile, looking to take care of their families. Um, so several of the students that this uh, President Turner talked to, talked with, had some really incredible stories about coming here and having children and being single parent, yep. uh, taking this these courses knowing that they're going to, to do better for their families. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, an, it's an entryway to upward mobility for them. It really is. Because even starting salaries right right out of college or still in college are livable wages. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, they go r instantly into middle class. That's where they go. You know, and many are working two jobs and, mm -hmm. and doing mm -hmm. all this and going to school and raising families. Yeah. Um, so we should be really proud of our students and what they've accomplished. And in biotech, we have a, a consistent... Uh, enrollment in biotech, and we're looking at extending that biotech to another two cohorts. Okay. Uh, which, because of the industry need, and because we have such fantastic labs, they, and um, you, you may remember the college got in, I think, 2014, yes. got an incredible grant from Mass Life Sciences. I do and, remember. Yeah, yeah, and we've kept building, not we, I can say that now, but right. in, in the past, you know, they, the college kept building on that. So the labs are, uh, that's what uh, the Mass Life Sciences is so interested in, in having people visit to say this is the kind of lab that we want you to have at your college. Yeah, well, yeah. you really were ahead of the curve. Um, mm -hmm. And it goes back really to um, the Patrick administration founding that Mass Life Sciences Absolutely. Center. Absolutely. And I remember um, Bruce Van Dyke was here in this studio yes. uh, t when that grant was first announced to, to actually get that lab up and running. Yeah, and he recently retired. One. Oh, good for him. Yeah, yeah, he retired, but he really... He was the foundation yes. at that college, uh, at Quincy College, and, and did a tremendous job. So, you know, as, when people retire, you want to continue that foundation and, and more. And that's really what we're doing right yeah. now by adding cohorts, you know, which also adds revenue, you know, and, and enrollment, yeah. which are great things. But it gives people such a great opportunity. Really great opportunity. Well, I mean, even Fox Rock Properties here in Quincy has taken notice of uh, the biotech and life mm -hmm. sciences industry, kind of making a shift uh, to their planned new development downtown to a bio biotech right. uh, development, that, yeah. you know, rather than just a straight medical complex. Yeah. So conceivably, um, someone could live in Quincy Center, go to school in Quincy Center, and then work in Quincy Center. Imagine that. Yeah. Unheard yeah. of, only even five years ago. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Right, tremendous growth in the industry, but also tremendous growth in the city of Quincy. Mm -hmm. So they, they really go hand in hand. Sure. We'll talk about um, accreditation, if you will. Yeah. I know the college has to meet uh, certain standards yes, in order to maintain yeah. that accreditation. Yeah. yeah, we had the New England Council of Higher Education visit for um, about three and a half days. And um, we, we talked about a lot of different things. They meet with students, they meet with faculty. Uh, they meet with uh, obviously administration as well and they, they, they have a series of meetings probably maybe 15 to 20 meetings over these days with individuals and then at the end they tell us what they think they will be writing in the report okay. and, um, and it is interesting because you know they come in as um, you know people that you really don't know all that well they're from all different colleges uh, these, these, um, the, these this faculty group that came in was from uh, Maine uh, Connecticut and hmm. New Hampshire colleges, um, some regional colleges, and, and uh, have a really great perspective of, of, you know, learning about Quincy College and how unique it is, mm. you know, being municipal college, yeah. you know. So um, they came in, and, and when they left uh, on Wednesday midday, we had the Board of Governors there, uh, we had some students there, we had faculty there, and all heard really, really great news uh, about where we are and where we, where we are headed uh, right now with things like uh, biotech, with, okay. with so many connections to the city of Quincy that uh, frankly have been, have been missing for, for several years. You know, uh, we have a great partnership with, with uh, the planning department, mm. you know, taking a look at what our needs are, you know. Um, 
And uh, the, so the planning department, we have K-12 partnerships going on with uh, like an early college, high school type okay. of thing. Oh, and really? So, so reaching out to the younger students? Yeah, even. because, okay. you know, the research will tell you right now with, with uh, the population, uh, the, the, I guess the lack of population in a certain in areas of people maybe um, yeah, maybe 15 years old to, to 25 years old. Okay. The population has really dipped hmm. tremendously. So we're all getting older. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You yeah. know. So so colleges now are looking. You know, if from research will tell you that they're looking at connecting with these high school students early and often and bring them in to create really? pathways. This is why we went for the early college high school designation. We yes. got in June. Uh, we have a, a, a State Street Foundation a grant for well over five hundred thousand uh, dollars. We have one hundred and fifty students right now okay. that are involved. For Eighty both high schools. Eighty at okay. North, uh, seventy. Uh, at Quincy High School okay. that are involved at grade 10, 11, and 12. Uh, we're working with businesses to our business partners to connect to these, uh, to this program, you know, and sponsor students. Mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. want to sponsor 20 students. Now, they're your students. Bring them into the community. Bring them into your business. So more of a connection, you know, of, of Quincy uh, to Quincy yeah. College. Uh, and, and those students, you would hope, and if they do great, if they don't, you know, they have tremendous credits mm -hmm. leaving Quincy High School, North Quincy High School, to go wherever they want to go. Okay. You know, so the credits will transfer. We hope we create such a pathway and know them so well that they stay they and come they to come Quincy to Quincy College. College. Of course, of yeah. course. Yeah. Um, but if not, I think it. I think it gives a lot of students, students that are high need students. You know, they may be low income, they may be uh, first generation uh, hmm. students, okay. uh, students of color uh, that may may not have had. Uh, college on their radar mm -hmm. screen, and now they have a light at the end of the tunnel uh, with some extraordinary teachers at both Quincy and North. Um, really are making some wonderful connections uh, with students and their parents and family. So that's the kind of thing that I think makes a difference. You know, we're also looking at the EL, EL program, you know, the, the English as a Second Language yes. a program, and looking at the college and thinking we need to build that program up more so again connecting to the high schools to say you know who are your students where are they right now okay. and how can we provide a summer program and how can we provide a nice transition to our college and then see where these students can go from there well you come at it from a unique perspective being the superintendent mm -hmm. of the public schools for so long you know it, it is it's a minority majority population uh, absolutely in the Quincy public schools yeah. yeah and and why wouldn't we tap into to that that resource right. you know and knowing the school system like I do and you know um, like I say I'm not superintendent anymore I got to be very careful <laughs> you know uh, but working with with superintendent Mulvey has been a great transition for me selfishly yes you know because I can I can look back and say I know what what Quincy Co public schools has right and I know what Quincy College needs so to, to marry these two mm. and to create conversations and dialogue is very helpful. Yeah, so do you foresee like an early college middle school, early college grade school? You know, it's so interesting. Uh, in s that down south, you know, uh, especially in North Carolina, yeah. uh, Texas, okay. you know, um, many of their high schools are early college high schools. Really? That's what they have, you know. So it's not like, a, like we have a school within a school their whole school is early college. Hmm. That's kind of what they do. And they do start at middle school, and we will too eventually yeah. at, at eighth grade, just talking to students. And then when they come to ninth grade, maybe actually starting a very small scale ninth grade program. Okay. Yeah, it's really, it's, a, it's just tremendous opportunity. You know, tremendous opportunity. Yeah, and also I'm thinking for the students, you know, it takes away some of the intimidation uh, factor mm -hmm. of, oh my gosh, now I have to go to college. What do yeah. I do? How do I do that? Yeah. Just thinking back on my own yeah, time no, in public schools. No, you're but right. But to be able to address that at a younger age and develop that path before, right. long before high school graduation, that yeah. we, you kind of know. Yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah. And, and, and also to the whole affordable piece. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's so affordable. And Many of our students right now, many high school students, uh, go right to like a UMass Boston. They'll get on the T because they really don't know all of the opportunities right. that we have right here. You don't have to get on the T, or if you do, you come from, you know, uh, uh, South Quincy. 
and, and get here. I know of Quincy <laughs> okay. to get here, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we talk about the nursing program, Rick? Sure. It's, it's uh, certainly a, a hallmark program. It has been uh, at Quincy College for years. What is its current status? Yeah, our status is that, that we're, we're doing, I think, we have a great foundational program. It's the enrollment isn't what it was uh, probably about five years ago. Okay. Um, but we have um, just about 100, a little over 100 student nurses in our RN and PN programs. Uh, the RN and, and practical nurse program are here in Quincy. Okay. In Plymouth, we just didn't have the uh, amount of students we needed for practical nursing. So those students that had um, enrolled there are coming to, to oh, Quincy. Okay. But the RN program is at both uh, schools, both okay. both uh, campuses. And I think that the, the hallmark really is that within the program you have what you call shared governance. So um, every other Friday we're on with students and listening to what their perspectives are. What can we do more for them? Mm -hmm. Treating them truly as clients and making sure that we listen to them and what they need. So the program, again, foundationally, I think is, is very sound, um, and we, do not, we will do nothing but build upon uh, that program. Very fine faculty, um, and students are, are really terrific and, and focused, and the rigor is unbelievable for these programs. It really is. So um, I think uh, eventually what we'll do is we'll offer, we have a day program. Eventually I'd like to offer an evening program mm. as well or a weekend program as okay. well. So uh, those are the kinds of things where I see the growth. But right now we have very fine students, again over 100, and um, faculty very consistent and stable. And that's how you build a program. And I'd rather build it this way rather than, you know, just have a, a, a lot more students enroll and admitted uh, and, and not do as well as we really should be doing for okay. them. I know the state uh, has allowed enrollment in the nursing program to resume uh, mm. after losing the accreditation. Um, where does the accreditation status stand for the nursing program? Right, right now it's still that tentative piece. Okay. We're not, we don't full, but we'll be applying for the full actually in um, in the spring. Okay, you know we'll be applying for full accreditation, back to full accreditation, okay. because our numbers have been so good, the testing numbers are so good that we can do that again. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime, does that impact current students when they graduate? No, 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 not okay. really. No, that, that when these students, when they're done, uh, say in the spring, mm -hmm. when they finish, uh, they uh, they t they take the test, the NCLEX mm -hmm. test, yep. uh, and if they do very well, then then they're off and running. Okay. It's, there's nothing that reflects on the program not having a full accreditation. Right, it is accepted by the state. Yes. That's, that's oh, the oh yes, line. absolutely. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and we're we're tied directly to the state. Correct. They, they yep. are relentless on on making sure that not just Quincy College all of the colleges mm -hmm. do what they need to do to create the best possible professionals going forward. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. it's good to hear. Mm -hmm. um, you bring with you tidings of good joy from Mass General Brigham today. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I got a wonderful, wonderful grant. You, you see, the, the that's when I talk about industry and yeah. the industry needs, especially in the healthcare industry. You know, uh, we were approached uh, to, uh, by Mass General to, to go, they, they probably have about five or six college partners that are all doing different uh, areas to, to, to strengthen uh, the nursing uh, core uh, in, in, in the state. And, and uh, what they asked us to do is to take a look. They, they don't have many times um, uh, employees, uh, nurses, that will do more than uh, certain roles and jobs. And they see this incredible need in behavioral health. Yes. Um, and so what they'd like us to do is to, to begin to establish a program with Mass General uh, to increase uh, that li that area of labor uh, within nursing. So it's pretty exciting, you know, when you look at the opportunity that we have and what we could do, and especially with what's going on downtown, you know, with nursing too, with Fox Rock, because they're looking at bringing in an MG, a Mass General mm -hmm. or, or others. So um, again, anything we can connect, anytime we can connect to the city and connect to uh, a significant major hospital, we'll, we'll do. But this is an incredible opportunity for, for Quincy College. $300,000 grant mm. uh, yeah. just announced to develop mm. the program. Would, no, well, that will include some tuition assistance also, or is that just Oh, to develop absolutely, the program? scholarship. We built that in okay. uh, as well. So it's going to take a while to develop. Okay. You know, that's, that's the issue, and yeah. that's what they want us for, to develop a program that has a very rigorous and rich uh, curriculum that meets industry needs yeah. and their needs. So uh, a very, very another uh, really, really positive 
um, positive approach to um, the healthcare industry. Well, behavioral health has been, um, you know, a, a glaring need, especially during mm -hmm. this pandemic. Uh, it's yeah. exacerbated the need for it. And I know major hospital emergency rooms um, sometimes yeah. are bringing on behavioral health specialists right in the ER to exactly. deal with it right then and there. So they're yeah. definitely going to be. Yeah, we're dealing with yeah. both both uh, Quincy College uh, here and and in Plymouth. We've added probably about five or six. Uh, healthcare programs. We actually um, added the EMT program, yep. paramedic education program, both and both are very, very highly uh, enrolled. Um, we added home health care, CNA program, pharmacy uh, tech program mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. a, with a great partnership with Walgreens yes. uh, at, at both Quincy and um, Plymouth campus. I so met one of your students in that program earlier. Oh. He's a wonderful student. Oh, that's player. right. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Excellent. Yep. Great, really great representative to, to have here for us. So, you know, that's really where I think uh, Plymouth may head. Uh, mm. as being a college of the health sciences. Interesting. You know, okay. that, that's our perspective down there and getting clinical partners and advisory board partners that are going to help us focus in that area. And Quincy as well with healthcare. Um, it is the way to go uh, along with the biotech, right. but not ever forgetting your liberal arts, your professional programs and other natural sciences. Always great to see you, Rick. Really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, no, my pleasure. Pleasure to be here. You guys do just a, a wonderful, wonderful job. And, Thank you. Uh, um, and I know a lot of people really appreciate everything that you do. I don't know how often you hear that. You well, know. it's nice to hear. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is. You do appreciate just a, a great service to the, to the city. So thank you. You are very, very welcome. Much. All right. We will take a look at the weather forecast for you because it looks really nice. Uh, sunshine out there and uh, dry weather continues all week today up around 60. Tomorrow, mid 60s. Is this June? No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Wednesday and Thursday look pretty good as well. Maybe some rain here on Friday. Thanks again to uh, President Rick de Christopher for joining us today. Thank you, Joe. Thanks Appreciate to our crew. Thank you for watching. We're off on Friday. Next Monday, Karen G. Vanello from the Quincy Lions Club is here. We'll see you then. <laughs>